Did you know a lot of people don't know the difference between a pork loin and a pork tenderloin? Today, I'm gonna show you the difference and show you how to cook it. So your pork tenderloin's more like the filet of the pig. So you'll see that we're getting three pounds for $14.42 as to where here with our pork loin, that's four pounds for $12. So it's a little bit cheaper. Also notice in the pack of the tenderloin, it's two, not one, as to where the pack of the loin, you just get one. You're gonna need a fork and we're just gonna put some holes in it. Not too many, but enough to let our marinade penetrate. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the comparable to the ribeye. You can see where the bones were. So we're just gonna take our fork, flip it over, do it again. So we're just gonna put them into a big two gallon Ziploc bag. So like a fourth of a cup of olive oil, approximately. Balsamic vinegar, we're gonna use about a fourth of a cup of that. Soy sauce, about a fourth of a cup. We're gonna do about a half a cup of honey. You want that sweetness to penetrate the meat. Now you need the Dano's Crunchy. I'm gonna take the lid off and I'm gonna use the rest of that bottle. Seal it up, give it a little massage, let some of that air out. And we'll let that sit in our fridge for about two hours. All right, my friends, it's been two hours. We're actually gonna take our tenderloins and set them to the side also. Now we're gonna take this bad boy since it's four times as big and we're gonna give it a head start in our 400 degree oven. All right, we gave that a 20 minute head start. Now grab your Dano's Primo, we got the grill. Start searing it up. All right, now that we're on the grill, you need the silver top. That's the Primo. Get all sides. It's gonna be Primo Dantastic. Let them cook. All right, let's go in for our first flip. Remember that juice? That's what that's for. Let's give them a flip. You guys, there's a big difference between a nice char and burning. We're just getting a nice char. If you're not careful, you can burn. We'll pour a little bit more of this on there. Look at that, it's ready. Now it's time to go get a bite. All right, while we set these to the side and let them rest, I'm gonna show you the best, the best sauce you've ever made for some pork tenderloin. So we're gonna start out with eight ounces of sour cream. Now listen to me now. Don't go out there and get horseradish sauce. You want the raw horseradish, that stuff right there. So about four ounces. If you don't want it as spicy as I like mine, you don't have to. So about half the jar. Now we're gonna grab the crunchy. A little bit of that. And we're gonna spice it up just a little bit with the Dano's Red Top. That's the spicy. Let's mix this all together. That right there, my friends, is the best sauce you're ever gonna have for this pork tenderloin. Here we go, let's cut into our tenderloin first. Look at that, absolutely juicy. Now let's cut into the loin. Nice and juicy. Now let's give it a try. Let's try the pork loin. It's delicious. Even though it's not dry, it kinda has a little bit of a texture of being dry because it's the loin. The tenderloin, my friends. Let's give that a try. Mmm, 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 mmm. It is a night and day difference. The pork loin, it's good. The pork lo tenderloin is just better. I hope you see the light. Go out there, get you a pork tenderloin. Try it just the way I did. Check out our recipe, it's over on our website. We'll see you next time. Keep sprinkling.